What is going on everybody? Brickbitter here and welcome to a brand new Minecraft build challenge today on Bot Wars, the server with a ton of awesome stuff. So make sure to check it out. Links down below. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. But today we're building an epitre house inside of this big tree. I built this thing off camera using a bunch of saplings and stuff. We have got to get started right here. So let's get right on into building our tree house today. We're going to build it out of jungle wood, I think. We have got to get started here with our design. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going for, like as far as design and theme goes, but we don't really have a lot of time, so we have got to get going because we only have 10 minutes to do this. So, of course, you know, we got to get work in here. All right, let's go like that. Go like this. Okay, we got our box successfully done there. We're going to try to cage the bottom of these things in leaves as best we can so it just looks like, you know, they go into the tree almost, if that makes sense. Uh, let's just get some leaves planted around. Good stuff. And just go like a... So we're just going to cover these walls at first here. I do have a bit of an idea in my head, but I don't know how it's going to... You know, be transformed into Minecraft, especially when you only have 10 minutes to transform it. You know what I mean? The ideas only go so far because time is such a conundrum. All right, come on. And let's get over there. Good stuff. And we got to, of course, get some more leaves in here. Actually, we're not going to fill this with leaves, probably. We're going to fill this mostly with planks and then only have some of it be leaves basically so it looks like there are a little bit of leaves over growing in here type thing but it's not primarily leaves i think that'll be the like most successful idea as far as design goes and look goes so you know we have like the periodic leaves in here type thing i feel like that'll look the best okay so now get up here get up here get up here give me fences we're going to go ahead and take some of these and throw them around here. We're going to kind of go for like an open-ish rooftop design. I think this should work pretty good here. Let's go like that. Go up one more on these. Yes. And we're going to make each of these go up one more. And we're going to make these each be like tiny little trees. We're going to go up two and go like that. And we're actually we're not going to go up two. We're just going to go up one. It doesn't look good if I go up two leaves. I thought it would, but it really doesn't. We're going to go like that. There we go, pretty successful, and do the same thing going around there. Now, of course, we need to do more to this than just this, so we're going to try to mix in a little bit of dark oak plankage and see if it helps. I think it should. It's already looking a little bit better, in my opinion. Plus, again, we don't have a lot of time, so once we make a decision, we kind of just got to stick with it, and that's a decision we made, so we're kind of stuck with it at this point. All right, there we go. Uh, give me dark oak fences. I'm going to throw a few of those up in here. Honestly, I think it can help with just giving us some color to work with, you know, get a little bit of that dark brown in there as well as the light pinks. And it should look pretty good, I think. Okay, so, of course, we need to make an actual way to get up into the tree, you know what I mean? And yes, it is 100% hollow inside of there, but it's whatever. We need ladders right now. Uh, give me some ladders. We're going to have to go all the way up into here through this. And like a so... There you go. So that'll be the way we get in. And we're going to also break that. And then we're going to make this side here come out a little bit. Just so you can clearly tell that this is the place you come when you want to go inside. We're going to make that like that, like that, like that. And give me a little bit of coarse, coarse dirt. There we go. And we're going to mix and match a little bit of that as you come on out. Like it so. Just make one of those, you know, free-flowing paths that we've come to love. There you go. Good stuff so people know you waltz up through here and boom you're inside now of course when you're inside though there needs to be some decorations and stuff we're gonna build all that stuff out of like different oak materials right now we're also gonna need some signs potentially because right over here this is going to be our couch but we're gonna actually curve the edges of the couch if we can uh, curve it that's not curving it that's not curving it. Where's the... There we go. I had it curved and then I broke it. And we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Good stuff there. And now I want to get a little bit of a carpet in here. So, not not a TNT minecart. As cool as explosive minecarts are, we don't really need one. And we're going to go like this. But then we're going to actually mesh it over a bit like this. Or something. How does that... Oh, actually, what about this? 
There we go. Ooh, that's a nice looking carpet. If I've ever seen a nice looking carpet. Although, what if we mix in... What if we made a checkerboard? Checkerboard? Yeah, checkerboard for the win. Okay, so we got that. Inside's looking okay. We need to get a little bit on the outside here as far as, like, leafage goes. You know what I mean? It can't be so, like, a natural. So the leaves have to naturally, you know, creep and crawl up the edges a little bit. So we got to throw some leaves on and around it type thing. Like, look, see? Little things like that. So it actually looks like there's some leaves that are you know building up around it and on it that just makes the most sense and we're about halfway done with the build so we do have to kind of you know work on getting the rest of it done uh we can throw some bookshelves up in here i can't even spell bookshelves clearly you know how educated i am based on that uh let's go ahead and do that and do that get some slabs in there in this corner maybe we can throw like a little bit of a plant situation yeah i like that I mean the trap doors, which we threw to make this look, make the log look a bit more, you know, normal if that makes sense. And actually, maybe we change the log out for a colored block. Let's go for let's go for an emerald block because who doesn't love emerald green? I mean, it's such a good green. So we'll do that. Get a little bit of emeralds in there because obviously I'm an emerald creeper, so we got to have the emerald green type scenario. Okay, let's get down and see what other stuff this thing needs. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I rate it. It's actually pretty epic already so far, in my opinion. This is. Definitely a good looking treehouse in my opinion, but there definitely could be better. I don't know how we can actually make this better though in the time we have, but I think the first thing we got glowstone torches and oak. We can throw where's the oak? Where there we go, oak fence. Okay. We're gonna need to throw some tiki torches up in the leaves, I think. So we get some lighting. We can do it actually right through tiki torches. Like right throughout here and look we're actually getting to place these things successfully usually they don't cooperate with me the tiki torches and i usually end up spending forever placing the torch on top of the fence but they're working out good and i think we should get maybe one more in the front down here and boom that should look pretty good we got some lighting in there now good stuff indeed i think this is gonna this is obviously the front of it so we should take a little bit of bone meal maybe and just sprinkle some bone meal around the edges of the tree of course so we have some like natural foliage and plants and all that good stuff around uh, there. Like a so. Like a so. And I think this is almost good. We're going to go around one time here. One more time, of course. And then we now have a bunch of plantage around it with a bunch of flowers and stuff. So that's pretty good. Uh, throw a little bit more coarse dirt because this path is starting to look a little bit um, lacking is the right word. There we go. Uh, we need to take a sign actually and make a sign that goes this way like uh, that not an m but like that i think that's right right those are the right amount yes of okay. carrots good stuff good stuff indeed and then we're gonna put epic tree house there we go i like it okay so we got the epic tree house there we still have two minutes left okay what do we want to do with these two minutes we can do something with these two minutes we need to do something with them um I, I have an idea. Here we go. We're going to make a little overhang here because I think this could be cool if we get the time to finish it, of course, is the most important thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a little bit stressed out for time. Uh, we're going to go back to what we had there. I don't know why I ever removed that, but give me some ladders and we're just going to go like that. And then actually here, these are going to become trap doors that I don't want to throw it down. Oh my god, give me the trapdoor back. There we go. Thank you, game. All right, good stuff. And then we can just ladder up here. And boom, we got that. Now get over here and take these. And we're going to add these. But we're going up a little bit for them so they don't actually touch the tree leaves and stuff. Okay, we're down to a minute left. This one's going to be a bit higher. Because if it's not a bit higher, then we'll have a bit of a problem. And then down here, these are going to get trapdoored. And like that, like that. We're actually going to throw the trapdoors all around the balcony edge here. I think this will just give a nice looking look to it. There we go. That's pretty good if you ask me. All right. That is not too shabby of a tree house. We got 30 seconds left. Let's see. Give me torches. And we'll just throw some torches up in there. Up in there. Oh, we can't throw one there. Okay. Maybe we should change the... Actually, those torches can stay there. And then we can throw there. That should work. Although, I feel like these would look better all on the same wall. Like that. I feel like that's good. All right. I think we have a few seconds to spare, but I think we actually finished our build. I think it looks pretty good, but...
times up because we finished and all that stuff. So now we're about to get right on into the actual tour of our epic trios. But before we do that, remember guys, if you do enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Okay, so look good. Look at it and it's all its glory. It's very beautiful. You gotta love this epic tree house. It's just so, so nice. Like literally insane. But let's see. So first, we're gonna have the coarse dirt path, of course, walking up. You got the the, la the little arrows pointing towards the ladder, epic treehouse, like all caps and all that good stuff. You come on up here, all good. You know, you just waltz on up, good stuff there, pretty easy. Jump up, instantly you see your emerald and you're like, woo, this thing's already epic. And then you got your leaves right there, which will let you do some cool stuff. You got the bookshelves, you got this really awesome checkerboard carpet, which honestly was not planning on putting here, but it just looks really good and it fits, especially with the bookshelves on the side. Oh God, put that back. Just really looks good and makes the carpet like fit in the space a lot better. And then you have the giant couch, you know, for whenever a long day of filming videos, you can sit back and relax on the couch, read a book or stare at emeralds. Cause obviously who doesn't want to stare at emeralds. And then you can waltz up here and look, you get a whole view of the server and all its glory over there. You can see a giant TNT cannon. I'm assuming that thing's absolutely wacky. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. But that is going to do it for today's episode of our Minecraft build challenge. If you did enjoy, make sure that like button and subscribe. And if you want to do this too, you can just join the Bot Wars server. And they have a plot creative server on here. So that's very awesome. But I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching.